Hi everybody, this is Serb Shar, back another day with another unboxing. No sneakers this time either. And this is nothing new, nothing fun at all. Uh, I just wanted to show you. I googled a lot about this one. Uh, not a lot, but a couple hours today. You know me, don't do any stupid impulse buys. And people say, some say that it sounds a lot. And uh, yeah, so it's, it's an old fashioned 3.5 disc, is no SSD disc, so it should make some sounds, but it shouldn't be loud. So I wanted to unbox this to show you the size of it and then connect it and see how it sounds. Um, first of all, the name uh, Seagate Expansion. Plus, I think, desktop drive. This is the six terabytes. And the reason why I bought this is because I bought a brand new computer that cost a lot of money. I think almost uh, 400 euro, sorry, 4,000 euro. So around 37, almost 40,000 kroners. And it doesn't, it's not as fast as I want it to be. As it should be, it's, it's almost as slow as my 10 year old computer that wasn't really slow, but you get the point. So I was going to turn it in um, and uh, some things came in between and uh, I called them today to ask how they do their test because I'm going to turn in the computer and I'm a bit afraid that they're going to say that we can't find the issue, so here is your computer back a couple of days later and I get it back home and it's still the same problem. Anyway, so I called them and they said uh, it will, we will need a couple of days, yada yada yada, but we can see here that you have clicked yes for it's uh, okay for us to erase the disk and I said wait a minute, I haven't clicked anything, I called in and said what's wrong with the, with the computer. Uh, I haven't clicked anything, I haven't said okay to anything. So that got me scared because I have roughly eight terabytes on the computer and it's my only computer, so I don't want to lose all that. So I bought this one only for the reason that I need to turn in my new computer have them check it and uh, yeah so what I need is four terabytes uh, four terabytes cost around 110 euro and six terabytes cost 160 euro so I got the six terabytes the size of them is the same and uh, yeah this is the size I don't have anything for size reference but like a hand they have them up to five terabytes a portable version and a portable version is that you don't have your external power supply uh, and it's a bit slimmer but i don't need it to be portable i just need it to work for a couple of days so that's why i bought it um, it looks a lot better in the pictures uh, the edge it looks a lot more uh, rugged here is even with some kind of print so it looks really cool in the pictures in real life you use plastic nothing special at all so I'm gonna plug it in and see how much noise it makes because I have as I said more or less four or five terabytes to uh, move from my PC PC to this one during this night so uh, yeah this is the size and soon enough you will hear or not hear how much it sounds this surprised me uh, it's not just standard USB cable I have never seen it, a cable like this actually so um, you can't use it with just any USB cable you need a cable like this. It comes with the, with the drive, of course, but uh, this surprised me. There was no on-off button. Uh, as soon as I plug it in, 
it started up. Let me see. So this is the silent mode, I guess, because I haven't done anything to it yet. And of course, it makes some kind of sound, but it isn't loud at all. No installation needed, and as usual, it's not six terabytes; it's five point forty-five, and. A half a terabyte missing, that's a lot. Uh, usually, I don't know, but a half a terabyte missing? Buying 6 and not even getting 5.5? I think that's bad. That's really bad. Okay, so maybe it sounds a bit much because I haven't transferred anything yet. This is just an empty disk uh, running low. And... Uh, I think it sounds a bit. But then again, I think it sounds used as much when it's working. Um, so yeah, it's a bit too much uh, when it's not working, but when it's working, it's just the same. So yeah, but you don't want to have it running in the background just for fun. And uh, the microphone is equal to putting your he putting your ear to it. So I'm going to show what it sounds like without the microphone, used with the iPhone microphone. This is used with the iPhone microphone. You see, it's still running. I got quite a large file moving. So yeah, it makes some noise, but. Once again, uh, the noise it makes when it's working, it's not bad at all, but it sounds a bit too much when it's not working. So uh, you don't want to have it just on standby. And I would like to have an on off button on it, like I have on the other ones, um, because it, activ it activates itself by just plugging in the cable. And I usually have my cables uh, just plugged in even if I don't use them. So I would prefer to have an on off button, but 160 euro for six terabytes or actually 5.4. I'm really disappointed about that 5.4. So yeah, but this is it. I hope you liked the video. I hope it answered all your questions. If you have any more questions, just ask me. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe. Thanks.